State. Orange County commissioners rejecting a controversial proposed development that would have transformed a rural area near Lake Pickett. The area used to be Ribald Branch and was there. And ever since the land was sold, developers have tried to turn the property into thousands of new homes. New Six Anchor Justin Warmoth joins us now with a recap of last night's emotional meeting and what could come next, Justin? That's right, Lisa. It was a long day and night and morning. It lasted until 1 a.m., the meeting did, but it's a fight these East Orange County neighbors know all too well. I was at the meeting. I talked to a lot of folks, all of them equally as passionate about what this proposed development would mean for their rural community. And in the end, they got the vote they were looking for. The motion passes and it's four to three. After hours of fiery public comment and deliberation, a win for the residents of East Orange County. My name is Dr. Kelly Simrad. And a sigh of relief for homeowner Kelly Simrad. I'm so thankful. The community, it showed up. So save Orange County. We're always so grateful. Community, you contact them. They show up. They sit. They wait. I mean, 12 hours sitting, waiting to try to publicly speak out and to support your community. That's a really big endeavor for a community to be successful at, and they were, and they have been for a decade. By a vote of four to three, commissioners once again rejected moving forward with the proposed Sustany development. The project was set to feature nearly 1,800 homes in an area currently zoned as rural. The mayor voted to move this forward. Did that surprise you whatsoever? I was surprised and we're disappointed in Mayor Demi. He's the first mayor to vote for urban sprawl across the Econ River. Concerns over infrastructure costs, road capacity, and compatibility were spelled out time and time again by those who spoke against the development. The environmental impact was also a reoccurring theme, and it was something one of Sustany's owners addressed as well. We do have environmental challenges. We're running low on water supply. We've got contaminants in our groundwater. We have flooding. We saw that in 2022 with the storms that we had that summer. And we also have a degradation of natural habitat. But we also have unprecedented growth that we have to deal with. So there's got to be a better way to handle the growth and develop sustainably. So our idea is to have oversight and governance, to have research and education, and then make the plans change through time as adaptable, cha adaptable plans based on the research we're finding and the data that we're collecting. It's a facade. We've been referring to it as greenwashing. As for what comes next, it's still unclear if the developer plans to rework the project. If they do, they'd have to wait another two years. And Simrad says they'll be ready. If it comes back up again, and we expect that, that it will, the, we will be there, you know, and we will keep showing up. Uh, we will keep fighting for the county to honor the promise that they made to the residents east of the Econ to protect our area, to keep it rural, and to make sure that we have the necessary resources to support the quality of life that people who live in the rural area have just as much a right to as people who live in the urban area. Now, I tried to get in touch with representatives from Sustany today just to get their reaction to last night's vote and whether they have any idea about what they'll do next. And at this point, I have not heard back. I'll mm. keep you posted on that. I, I, I can't imagine that I will because I, they're back to the drawing board yep. once again. They've yeah. owned that land for nine, ten years, and they've had to resubmit plans each and every time. Well, I'll tell you, these people over in East Orange County are a, I might pick force a different yes. area to be right? reckoned with. Like, this is, mm -hmm. this is the second time we've seen them fighting this, and they're usually very well, they've successful. Got a lot, the developers have a lot of money invested exactly. in that, though, so I have a feeling that this battle over development <laughs> there is not over. They are under that same impression. They, yeah. they know that these developers were not they're not going to go away. There's going to be some sort of development that will go there. They just want it to fall under what they feel like it how it matches that yeah. rule. Mm -hmm. Follow the Area. rules. Fa follow the rules. We don't need, you know, the density that this kind of neighborhood would bring. All right. I have a feeling you'll be reporting on this some more. <laughs> Justin Warman. Always fascinating to yep. see it out there. All right.